hey, what's going on? How we doing? What's going on? This is my friend Carson. Meet our friend over here. So, we are going to work on a new move today because today is a great day for soccer. Like every day, right Carson? Yep. So, the move we're going to do is step right, go left. It's a great move to get past the defender. Simple, but an excellent move. Let's see what it looks like. So Karsten, you stand here and face me. He's my, my stationary defender. You better not tackle me, okay? So I'm gonna run up to Karsten and do the move. You stay there, you're frozen, don't move at all. And there it is, the step right, go left move. So now let's break it down and go over some key points. Let's go over some key points for this move. First key point, when we go to do the move, what should we do, Carson? He doesn't know, that's okay, we haven't shown it yet. You have to sell the move, you have to really fake out the defender. So we're gonna step right, go left, sell the move. Second key point, this is the best way to get past the defender. What should we do after we make the move, Carson? He doesn't know again, that's all right. You'll know by the end of this video. The key, the key point you want to do after you sell the move is you want to change pace. So after we make the move, Carson, do we run slow or run fast? Fast. We want to run fast. And why do we run, run, run fast? Because the defender can catch you. You want to get away from the defender, that's right. The third key point, after we make the move, our eyes, Carson, should we look down at the ball the whole time? Look up. Look up, we want to look up. So do the move, change pace, and look up. And what are we looking for when we're looking up, Carson? Pass. We want to look for teammates to pass to, what else? The goal. The goal, maybe the goalie's out, we want to shoot. And the third thing? The defenders. Defenders, we don't want to run into any more defenders. So those are your key points, sell the move, change pace to get away from the defender and get your eyes up after you make the move. Now let's get an exercise set up and practice it. You ready? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Let's set up an exercise to practice this move. I call it the Y-shaped exercise. So we've got our start cone right here. We got our middle cone here. That's our imaginary defender. And then at a 45 degree angle off to the side, we have our finish cone and our other finish cone right here. So it makes the shape of a Y. So once we get into the exercise, you're gonna start at this cone and dribble on our imaginary defender, sell the move and go that way. So let's go over the move again. We wanna step right and go left, Karsten. So, you step, get your arms involved like you're gonna go to the right, and then you bring your foot in, and with the outside of the foot, you push it forward and run after it. So you try it just standing here before we get into it. Try it just standing here. Okay. Step right, go left. Do it a little bit faster. Okay. All right, you're gonna fake someone out. So do it without the ball. Let's get the motion okay. first. Step right, good, and then run after it. Let's come back here, step right, go left, good. So let's get into the exercise. We've walked through it, we've done a couple demos. The way it'll work is Carson will go first, step right, go left to the cone. He'll do about three, and I'll be doing three too. So he goes, and then I go. If your parent or coach or friend isn't going with you, then he takes like a couple seconds break in between. You ready? Yeah. Go! There's the exercise you can do in a Y-shaped cone to challenge yourself once you get the hang of it. What I recommend you do is before starting the exercise, like what Carson and I do and what I do on my own before I try a new trick or an exercise is just do the move standing without the ball. So let's practice Carson. We step right and we 
push it with the outside of our left foot. So get that feeling right now. Coaches, help your kids out with that. Step right, go left. Okay, a big problem I see, most kids they just get so excited and they're so rushed that when it comes down to do the move, they're too fast and they, and they, they lose their concentration. So walk through it first, step right and go left. A lot of kids will step right and then bring the ball with them and that just doesn't make sense because let's say Carson's my defender and I step right and he fakes, he bites the fake and I dribble right into him. So if you fake one way, you got to go the other way. When you're dribbling too, get your eyes up, see the field. So if you find that you're running into the cone a bunch, it's because you're doing the move too late. So you got to look up and see where the cone imaginary defender is. Get your eyes up when you're out there playing. So let's recap some key points here. Key point number one for stepping right, going left. You want to do what? Sell the move. Sell the move. So really get into it, go the other way. The second key point in after you do the move, which is the most important, the best way to get past the defender is what? Change pace and go faster. Change pace and go faster. Change pace and go faster. Justin Mapp, do you know Justin Mapp from yep. the Chicago Fire? Yeah. Plays for the U.S. national team. He doesn't even do that many moves. He just goes slow and then fast. And that's how he gets past people. And there's no reason why you can't be doing the same thing. And the third thing, after we make the move, we've changed pace. What should we do with our eyes? Look up. Look up. And what are we looking for? The goal, what, your teammates or defender. Exactly. Vision, your teammates, your defenders, all that stuff. So you know everything to do. Have the confidence to go out and make it happen yourself. Get in the backyard, get in the indoor place, start training. Enjoy the game. You love the game? Yeah. I love the game too, so let's get out there and get better. And like always, believe in it! <laughs>